So Watamali uh, means welcome, greetings and goodbye in my Birigaba language. My name is uh, Dorothy Savage. I'm a Bindal elder. Um, I am a mother of five, grandmother of 26 and great-grandmother of five, I think. Elders of 19 children, very large family. NAIDOC is an opportunity that we can stand up and be proud. It's like it's to us, it's like winning the big grand final football and we're all football fans because many of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and women promote us through sports, promote us through politics and so we stand up and be proud of them. So NAIDOC is a very special week's occasion where we can show our dance, our culture, our law but also some politics to know why First Nations people are suffering today and why Mother Earth's trees are weeping and the seas are polluted because of the lack of understanding about looking after um, the land which is our law and our life. But most importantly it's the pride that we have in this week where young children can go to school and be proud of who they are. It's a time that we promote the true history of this country because we believe and it's a known fact that the true history is not being taught in schools. The true history is still unknown. It's a hidden history to this community, uh, to Australia. That's so important that uh, people understand that when you think about the theme always was, then it's important that people instill in their minds and in their hearts that always was First Nations people here before colonisation came here. It's timely, it's timely because if there was a public holiday, white Australians that really don't have any understanding of our culture and law, it would probably make them to go into the research because uh, it was never made mandatory, the true history, all the good things, but also the negative things of colonisation. So with demonstrations, with COVID, the economy downfall, it's a wonderful time to have a theme for First Nations peoples who have always taken care of country. Australia being a mixed society, many of our children are from mixed marriages. I have grandchildren with blue eyes, blonde hair, fairer than the non-Indigenous person. But the pride instilled in them, it doesn't matter what colour of their skin, it's about the pride they hold. Um, so they share in the dancing, they share in the songs. And so that's our way of teaching and keeping our children um, informed. I look forward to black and white Australians coming together as one. As I said, I'm optimistic that my grandchildren and other grandchildren will join forces and promote NAIDOC and promote different themes every year. What a molly. <laughs>